Jonathan Tassini, I'm the candidate for the United States Senate in the Democratic primary in New York in the year 2010. And uh, Jonathan, we're in the Hart office building here today, and I understand you have a petition. Can you tell us about the petition? Sure. This is a petition of over 3,700 citizens all across the country who have signed a petition asking for all sitting United States senators and all candidates for the United States Senate to commit to end the filibuster uh, beginning next year in 2011 when the new Congress is sworn in. And we've done this for one simple reason. The people who signed this petition believe that the filibuster is undemocratic and should be eliminated, and it has frustrated our Congress from doing the people's business. And this is just the first shot. We're going to uh, use this petition to garner tens of thousands of other petitions. We're here to present the first petition to the majority leader, leader Harry Reid, and we will then send all the petition copies to all sitting senators. What are the problems that have been created by this filibuster rule or process that you can think of that really needs, pushes for the elimination of it? Well, that's a very good question. You know, basically, we don't have majority rule anymore. And so now you have individual senators who can use their individual power to block the will of the majority. Now, I'm doing something unusual as a candidate for the United States Senate. I'm going to do something that most sitting senators and most candidates are unwilling to do, which is to say that if I'm elected, once I'm sworn in, I'm going to give up this power, give it up back to the people, because I think ultimately this is really about democracy and the ability of the people to make sure that the senators are doing their people's business. So I'm happy to give up this power for the betterment of democracy, and I'm urging and demanding and calling on all the sitting senators and all my future colleagues to do the same. Well, you know, I, it sounds like it's very timely, uh, Jonathan, because there's a lot of grief out in the country, yeah. especially with respect to the economy and the wars and uh, uh, the collapse on Wall Street. So what you're saying is let's get rid of this. Let's do what we have to do to move the country forward and, and put it back on a good steady. That's right. And, and you know, giving up this power in some ways says that you might not get your way down the road that you might not be in the majority, but what it does say is that one individual senator, and I'm not gonna name any names, whether it be Republicans or Democrats, they've all abused this system. And I am proud to be a Democrat, but the first thing I'm standing for is democracy and to be a voice for the people. And the people are fed up with this dysfunction. And the people are fed up with watching individual senators of both parties abuse the system for their own power. This must end, and if I'm elected, I will fight to end it right away the very day I'm sworn in. I think the polls support what you're saying. There's a lot of unhappiness throughout the land in different states that proportionally with respect to, to the incumbents and the way they've been doing business in Washington. So you're hoping that this petition that you have, if, if it's adopted, can move things forward. Well, you know, it's a first step, and obviously I can't do this alone. Uh, it, this is really going to happen because of the welling up and the rising up, as you point out, of the, of the people. People are angry, and it's going to be up to the people to convince uh, a majority of the senators to get rid of this power. Now, that is not an easy thing. Let's be very clear. In America today, most incumbents, most political leaders of both parties, their one thing, the one thing they do is strive to get reelected and to hold on to their power. And I think that has particularly created the dysfunction in politics, and it's the reason people are angry. Now, I'm a proud Democrat, and I'm calling on my party to take the leadership on this because I believe that if we do so, we will once again be seen as the voice of the common person and the voice for democracy. Anything else, Jonathan? No, that's great. I'm looking forward to doing this, and we're going to wait for a delegation of people to come. We're going to present this to the majority leader and maybe visit a couple other senators. Thanks so much. Thank you. So how did they go, uh, Jonathan? Was, they were very pleasant. Uh, we presented the petition, and we're, we asked to have a follow-up meeting with the senator's staff so that we could uh, discuss how this is actually going to uh, proceed forward. Uh, they were very interested in actually looking 
because the majority leader, how many signatures were from Nevada, and there were a number of people from Nevada. There were people all over the country. Uh, this is just the first step. We're not going to stop. And currently, you have how many signatures? Over 3,700, and in very, very short time, and we're hoping then to take this effort uh, and really ramp it up and get even more signatures with the help of people all around the country. And the petition is online if people the want to petition is through. online at jonathantassini.com, and we really urge people to sign it, uh, spread it around. This is for us, for the democracy, and for, to make sure that the people's voice is heard. Thank you, John. Thank you.